Yeah, I'm pretty sure I'm going to get wet. Poser stickers. Scratch babble. Doesn't look good. I'm gonna start this vlog before I get out of the neighborhood. It's Sunday. It's been weeks since I've vlogged. And then this way, if it rains, I'll splice in footage you guys have never seen from previous rides and then pretend it's new. Heading north. minute since I vlogged somebody uh wait a minute visor down it's been a minute since I vlogged somebody put a message on uh one of my other videos saying hoping everything's okay everything's great the problem is there's only 24 hours in a day and seven days in a week visor up when I was uh on my way to a kid's football game few weeks ago found I think the only twisty road in the county I was like damn I never knew this was here and so the intent was it's like three weeks ago now right after I showed you the mad stat was to do all sorts of things was to I wanted to go do the twisty I wanted to review the mad stat I'm coming up on oh sorry horn I'm at 4,700 miles, so I got a five. I thought, well, I got a 5,000 miles coming up. Why don't I just do everything then? And then the gear vlog I've been promising, and then this vlog I've been promising, and that vlog I've been promising. Instead, what I've been doing is watching your guys' vlogs and pretending I've actually accomplished something. Man was mean bugging. Oh yeah, I'm gonna get my ass kicked. Oh. What do you mean no six gear? The number of times I've reached for six gear? Every oh crap, I was gonna actually tell you about my uh hard cases too. Son of a bitch. Yeah, I think I'll do all that in the five thousand. I'll do all that in the five thousand thing. Review. And then I'll timestamp it so you can just skip around if you want. I'll do everything at once. I'll make about a two and a half hour vlog. Shit. How long has that been on? People are supposed to let me know when I leave my blinker on. Come on now. Can't do this all myself. What vloggers do you guys watch? I had a couple people ask me that. And I mentioned I've been watching a lot of vlogs rather than making them. I mean, it's evolved over the years. Before I could ride, I started watching like the first vloggers I could find. So it's like Downshift 83 and Jake the Garden Snake and Do It With Dan. And some of those guys I still watch. Do it with Dan. I've subscribed and unsubscribed to him like five times. I even mentioned that in one of his videos. And his, his response was, Jesus, what are you, my girlfriend? Commit to something. Then when I zeroed in on this kind of bike and this kind of riding, of course, I already knew of half throttle and long way, but then I found Ever Ride. Lately, though, I've settled into this. It's almost like a cool little community of. Uh, of vloggers who were all kind of in the same general area of subscribers. That's the word. With the exception of a couple. Swanky Cat I've been watching for a couple years now. He started about the same time I did. Ben's, Ben's a good guy. The same with Mason's Adventures, or Mason. Up in Canada. Good guy. 
Ballistic Rip down in Central South Florida. Good guy. He cracks me up. And then somebody new I've been watching lately. I, I don't know how this guy only has like 29 subscribers. He gave me a, a subtle shout out earlier in the week, which was really cool. I wasn't expecting it. But this dude makes me laugh. If you haven't checked out Full Cypher's channel yet, he cracks me up. He's up Canada too, and it's... I don't want to say anything to oversell it or give it away, but he's he's got a unique approach. <laughs> Before he stopped blogging every day, I'd, I'd start every day with Casey Neistat's blog, and I'd end every day with another guy I started watching when I started endorsing Harley, a guy out of the Northwest, um, Sean Smoke. He does a he doesn't do as much moto vlogging. He does a lot of daily vlogging himself now, although it's all centered around motorcycles. He works at a motorcycle shop in Washington State. Dealership. He rides Harleys. He rides BMWs. He rides dual sports. He rides spiders. And he works on them all, too. Anyway, there's something about Sean's voice. Every night when I go to sleep, I, I used to be a reader, a readaholic. Reading was my warm milk. It's getting windy. Now it's Sean. It's just so calming. I have to go back and watch it the next morning because I always fall asleep with my wireless earbuds in. And then a channel that started out just a little over a year ago started small. Uh, is Jeremy Rides. I enjoy his stuff. I just saw a video he did for to start up Patreon and yesterday, I think it was. A little bit of his backstory of He did a trip a year ago, year and a half ago, east to west coast. And those were his first vlogs and that's when I started following him and now he's all in. winter, just snowmobile stuff. I'm telling you crap you already know. Not much I can do about it. This is a recording. Damn, I forgot to say visor down when I put my visor down. Alright, don't miss the road. Don't miss the road. Visor up. There we go. I think this is it. Naval. No, that ain't it. Shit. Okay. I missed my road. <laughs> Kiss my balls. My big hairy goat balls. My big hairy old goat balls. I said, I think this is it. No, this isn't it. I think this is it. I think that was it. Gonna get wet. Battery's probably getting low. But by God, I'm riding. I'm gonna find that twisty road. I love you, baby. And I'm gonna turn left here. I, I think they changed the name of the road. But nah. Can't be that road. Has to be that road. GPS says I'm... Um, that is the road. Bob Sykes is supposedly the name of that road. We will see.
what threw me off is it's got the military signs up. But I could have sworn I looked at the street sign. I didn't see Bob Sykes. I know you don't care about any of this shit. I'm doing it anyway. All right. I'm, I'm committing. I think this is it. See, it's military sign. It's the only thing that shows on the map. No street sign. This has got to be it. All I know is it's dark clouds behind me and it's light clouds in front of me, so I'm going forward. One thing I did think about, this is it, for sure. The one thing I did think about when I found this in the truck is, it's kind of like going through a national forest area. And I need to keep an eye out for critters crossing the road. Of these dirt roads and all this is air force so a lot of these roads that look like hey that'd be fun well they would if you don't mind going to jail although you can get a pass a range pass like my sand riding videos those are all done on the uh, Eglin reservation portions you can ride obviously others you'll go to jail I just got bugged in the eye. I just got completely bugged in the eye. It hit right at the bottom of my eyeglass frame. Something wet squirted up into my eye. I got bug juice in my eye. Ladies, if you were wanting to lick my eye, sorry. Okay, yeah, this is the road. All right, refocus. So when you worry about something bolting from the brush on the right. Maybe this road isn't so twisty, but it's nice to ride down. All right, I was able to hold about 48. <laughs> you gotta understand, I, the twisties to me are like, I've ridden more sand than I've ridden turns. A fellow rider? Or a one-eyed truck. Tell it right. And it was a Harley, and he waved. Yeah, that's what the other thing I wanted to talk about. I don't know that I watch any vlogger that gives a damn what you ride. And most people I meet don't give a damn what you ride. The only reason I endorse Harleys is because the Harley dealer heard about my dream to ride. Oh shit, I didn't mean to downshift. Uh, heard about my dream to ride and offered me Harleys. And I'm like, okay. Because he wanted somebody who wasn't a Harley rider to you know, see what it was all about. Well, not only was I eternally grateful for those being the first motorcycles I rode, or it had been another two years before I would have owned this. I understand why people love Harley so much and KLR so much and BMW so much 
an insert sport bike, dual sport, cruiser, pit bike. Starting as late in the game as I did, and financially I'll never be able to own all the bikes we'd all like to own. <coughs> but I damn sure plan on riding them. Oh my god, it's a double squiggle. I got a double squiggle. I got a dry fit on under this underneath this jacket. And it's like perfect. This may be that turn I was talking about. come out of one of these and it's a washout over a bridge. Doing the responsible thing. I'll know on the way back once I get past that area. I can... Yeah, this is it. Because it goes downhill steeply to a uh, to like a bridge area. There it is. Oh, there was a lot more sand on it last time. Okay. It was it was covering both sides of the road. And then see how it cuts off to the right pretty quick right here? I hit this with my truck going about 40. And uh, my, my butt puckered in the truck. First time riding this stuff, it's kind of like Trail of the Dr Trail. <laughs> yeah, it's like Trail of the Dragon. It's like Tail of the Dragon. I don't know what these things do. So yeah, I'm whipping down, shifting when I get to them. It's all right. Still recording. Well, that's another guy I meant, meant to mention in the blog when we're talking about. Moto vloggers. I think his name is, or at least his vlogger name is John Smith, and he, he's gone East Coast, West Coast to East Coast and back again. He's been posting his uh, daily rides on an NC 700X or an NC 700. I don't know. All I know is there's not a lot of talk. He turns the camera on and off. Tells you where he's headed, turns the camera off, turns it back on when he gets there, goes to the next place, turns it off. And whenever he comes back and starts filming again, he goes, We're back! I love that. And we're back! I mean, I love it so much, I'm so tempted to steal it, but I can't. Maybe I can use it for other things. I can I can combine it with full ciphers. Visor down. Visor up. And go. Visor down. All right, stop dicking around. Pay attention. You're right. Horses in area. Okay. If I see one, I will shut off the motor. Still got the bug eye going on. I got bug remnants in my eye. I gotta check that out somewhere. Whoa. Whoa. <coughs> this actually is a great little road to ride. I'm coming back into civilization now. It'll be time for a smoke break, a battery check, and Bug guts eyeball check. Hey girlfriend, you need to make 
just ride with me next time. This is I-10 we're crossing as we make our way to beautiful Defuniac Springs. Meth capital of Florida. No offense to the good people here who aren't meth heads. I am pretty sure I'm exceeding the speed limit here. But I haven't seen a sign in quite a while. So I'm riding as if it's 55, but I think it may have dipped to 45. It is 45, okay. By most reports I get. That isn't an ass kiss, that's an honest uh, comment. Hello, Lee. never going to make enough income in my lifetime to buy a house and acreage and blah 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 because I dicked around too long and now here I am at 61 with no retirement. I'm going to have to change careers here in a little bit just to uh, be able to try to build some kind of retirement. Well that's okay too, I want that. But if I win the lottery... I'm going out to the country. Is that a policeman behind me? Please don't be a policeman. Please don't arrest me. Now it's 35. And I believe that's the end of the twisted road up there. Might be the end of the block too. I don't know, I'm going to check my camera battery. I don't know if I'm going to have anything interesting to say on the way back that I can think of uh, that I haven't already covered. Man, I want to ride those new soft tails. There's Wally World I could have turned in there. This is Arby's. I could have turned in there too. at the Walmart. I'm going to take a time out because I just fucked up twice. <laughs> and I'll either be back or I won't. 